What is going on guys? Joey here. I need a haircut badly. Um, <laughs> we're going to be breaking down Cranon's meat. Uh, 560 total. 76 kg class. First place. Probably thing America. Open Nationals. Punched a ticket for IPF Worlds. As someone who has taken many people to IPF Worlds, it brings me joy and happiness to know that another person who has chosen to believe in myself and the team is going to be able to come with us on this journey, potentially go even farther. Coming into this meet, uh, just a little, is this the best image to have on screen right now? I guess that's fine. Coming into this meet, uh, we started prep a little bit late. Cranon doesn't just powerlift. She does a lot of other things that are unrelated to powerlifting, but are related to fitness. Um, she has a lot of like obligations in terms of like travel and sponsors and things like that. And um, after her last meet, she just had other things going on. So um, she was able to get back in the saddle just in time, I would say. Um, ideally, we would have started prep in like August, not honestly, basically like we started in like December pretty much. And it was still a little bit spotty in December. Um, and then it got, it got more serious, uh, January. I would say January was probably when we were really, really locked in. Although I believe there was still a little bit of travel going on. Um, and there were tough days. There were days when she had to travel like just do a whole meet and greet event whatever and then fly home and then we got a train and she's like really tired but it's like got to tough it out and we just had to do what we had to do and those are the qualities that you need to have um to make it to the top so she did show me a good amount of like resilience and and that she had the will and the, and the fire to want to do this um and i think now that the stakes are higher and she got to experience something like this in powerlifting. Um, I mean, I could already tell and feel the, the shift in energy. I also would like to her credit, um, she, like I threw her into the fire. Like she, you know, she had other things going on. I don't think she had anything like this, um, this serious that was happening uh in terms of like lifting like our last meet there wasn't really any other girls that were there um and then this is just literally like a national meet and at the start of the meet i believe cranon's total was like 512 and then there was like three other girls that had 505 listed as their starting total in addition chloe in the first session hit i believe it was like five 48.5 or something like that i could be off slightly but it was something significant so we had we had like our work cut out for us and i'm just looking at everything like all right we gotta handle business today um i was calm because i had just finished with russ and like honestly i just got back from sheffield so like i don't feel anything i have no nerves i, I i'm just i'm just i'm fried i guess you could say i don't i don't feel the pressure, uh, I, I, I do, I do, like, I know, I know what we're aware, I know what we have to do, I'm aware of the situation, but it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm, like, super scared to miss a lift or anything, I'm like, we gotta do what we gotta do, and sometimes we're gonna have to take shots, there she um, is. hold on, let me, let me mute that, sometimes we're gonna have to take shots in order to handle business, um, so opening squat, I was aggressive, I wanted to be really aggressive, because I knew she was going against a big deadlifter, and I didn't know, um, I was sort of in strength discovery mode for Krennan. Um, I wasn't entirely sure what her maximum top end strength was going to be after a peak and not having to cut weight. Um, her competitor was a big deadlifter, so I just knew that we needed to max things out. So I did up the opener. This is 435 pounds, 435.41. That was great. Moved really, really well. Uh, as you guys can see, just a little bit of like teeter-totter coming out of the hole so she hits the ground she's already slightly shifted to her left and then when she came up you could see the bars a little bit more slanted 
there could be many reasons for that. The bar could not be even on her back. Uh, the gym that she trains at could be, you know, the floor slightly off. There could be like a million things like going on with it. Um, more than likely, it was just the bar in the moment was not perfectly even. I have no idea what the one red was for. I was totally fine with that squat. Um, it moved extremely well. So I said, okay, let's put 30 pounds on it, right? 33 pounds on it. Um, and then in this squat, I, I, I will say I did feel that she was nervous. I did feel that she was nervous. And, um, we, you know, we're going for a meet PR, like literally on her second attempt. Like I said, I was not nervous. So I was aggressive. I, I, her training and what she had did in the gym, I knew that she could hit this weight, but she's going to have to execute. We're dealing with nerves. You know, there's something about this nationals. A lot of the lifters were nervous. I'm not really sure, too sure what it was. Um, and we'll just take a look here. So she hits the hole. She doesn't teeter as much. She does when she starts to miss. Uh, she did drop a little bit fast. I remember I remember looking at it, analyzing it after. She did drop a little bit fast, um, which anytime you do that, it's going to make things harder than it needs to be. Also, those are not her knee sleeves that she uses normally. Um, we changed those at the last minute just because the sleeves that she had, I believe they're Iron Rebels. Um, and you can't use that for this meat because it's uh, it's an IPF meat. So that was something that we didn't notice until like two weeks out and of, or maybe like a week out. And that's like obviously something that you want to have handled. So that'll be better going forward so she could be used to the knee sleeves. I knew that she could hit this weight. And typically in the past, if I've ever taken a big jump or if you see anybody take a big jump and they miss it and then they get it. I've seen Ashton Ruska do this many times, take a big jump, miss it, and then get it on the third. It's just because it could be a little bit of a shock to the body. Um, and then you just kind of figure it out. And then, boom, look at that. Perfect. That was, That's how the second should have been. And then we could have gone up another five after that, maybe another seven. Um, so really, really happy with that. I had, I was having a big body come out to the side when I wanted to watch on the screen because the screen was giving me a front view and then I could really just see the actual bar from the front. Sometimes when you're watching squats in particular on the side and at Sheffield, this was a little bit of a thing. You're way out on the side and there's like spotters and loaders and I can't really... Like, I can't really see things the way that I want to. So that's a thing. Um, now, coming into bench. Oh, so her competitor missed a squat. So that was huge for us. That allows us to gain even more ground. Coming into bench, bench was super, super easy. Um, in training, though, the heaviest set that I could remember that she had hit, it was like 226 for a triple or like 231 for a single or double or for a double i think something like that it was not you know it was not indicative of what she had on her top end here um absolutely smoked the opener now we're going to 231 also i feel like i'm yelling am i yelling tell me let me know if i'm yelling coming in at 231 this is a way again that i know she can hit if she hit 226 for a triple, her top end is going to be around 242 to 248. Um, but as you guys are going to see, on the third, I definitely think she's probably good for more. Now, on this lift in particular, long hold, which is normal, that means that right there, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. But if that happens again, and it's not smooth, I have to make an adjustment. I have to, sorry, uh, we had a commercial pop up. On that second bench, that little sticking point, whatever that was, I have to be aware of that. So I said, you know what? Five kilos should just be fine. If it happens again, she should be able to power through. Um, I think her feet were slipping and she fixed it. But as you guys will see on this one, No problems. Um, she did have to overcome 
having to change her bench setup a little bit because she used to put her feet on the bench to get set up. Um, but for this competition, she couldn't do that. So she had to learn how to get tight on the bench without putting her feet up there. It's not a problem. It's just, it's just something that needs to change. And you want things to be exactly the same all the time. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on. That was an opener. You know what I'm saying? Which is exciting because that means next meet we could hit like, 260 265 like we're gonna have way more you know um so really really exciting to see that squat was chill on the third attempt bench was super chill on the third attempt now for deadlift i'm doing the math i'm thinking things out i'm thinking all right we're gonna open light hit this 217.5 and then we're jumping to a number that i think is gonna put her competitor who also missed the second bench which we, which we were able to get a little bit more head on and force them to pull more um, you know, 480 on the pole, blasted it off the ground, a little bit weird off the ground. There's always like a little bit of a transition coming from the back room to the platform. There's always like, like the opener might, may be weird. Um, but the second attempt, you're used to the same foot footing. The timing is a little bit more spaced out. And you're able to hit it cleaner, which you guys will see right here. Every time I take the headphones off, it's because I hear that the bar is loaded. 231.507. This is a way that I knew she was going to hit. Um, it puts her in a commanding position, and it allows us to kind of have some fun um, on the last pull. And again, this front view, see how she, see how she, right here, how she gets her grip set. And when she drops her hips, you see the bar bend. That's just like finding your tension, pulling slack out of the bar. Um, I'm actually really proud of her for having her nails a little bit shorter than normal. So she could actually like hold the bar, but she did really good with grip. This me, um, knees were locked, no problems there. Hit it smooth. Let me check it one more time. Speed was good. I think we go another seven kilos up. Um, but she was feeling good at this point. She's like, whatever you want to put on there, you know, just give me whatever. I'm talking to the guys. I'm like, yo, thumbs up. Like, what's up, jury? Do we or uh, judges? Are we getting thumbs up or lights? So thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, all good. Coming into the third attempt now, uh, she's at 552.5, which was enough to win. Um, but this is just like, you know, kind of icing on the cake. Really just kind of lock it in there. Um, once she starts getting momentum, she's like, she's like, you can't stop her. Like once she starts getting hyped, once she starts getting and she's feeling herself and she gets in that mode, I mean, she's not, uh, it doesn't matter what I put on there, right? She's just going to hit it. So she's feeling confident now. Coming into the last one. Taking her time to get the grip set. Pulling slack. Drives it up. A little bit heavy, but really, really good. Um, probably another... Definitely another two and a half. Maybe another five. I was really, really happy with that. Um, shout out to Big Body for the help in the back. Shout out to Swole for all the support, being the hype man, gassing us up. Um, but yeah, overall, let me just pause it somewhere. Um, we'll pause it on the thumbs up so I could talk a little bit. Overall, um, I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of like what she was able to to do in like such such a short prep um but now for worlds we're getting right back into it she's been really good with everything and i'm excited to just represent usa and you know i i'm telling you guys she's gonna squat 500 pounds one day she is going to be up there right she like our goal for this meet i think it would be really good um as a first world to try to get her on the podium now remember what happened with Callie. 
Remember what happened with Cali, all right? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. But we're going to do our best to represent the country well. We're going to make all our attempts. We're going to be, you know, I just really want her to get that experience, get on that podium and, and you know, experience that, you know, because that's going to give her the confidence that she needs going into the next meet, going into the next meet to allow her to, to ascend to even higher, you know, to just to just become a higher level competitor, just to get to a level of of competition that, you know, she's going to be unbreakable. And that's my job is to help her get there. And how do we do that? I need to throw her into the fire. I need to help co coach her through it, help her get out of those situations. And, I mean, she's just been building really, really well. So I'm really proud of you, Krannon. I don't know if you're going to watch this, but I'm really proud of you. Um, I'm excited for you to be on this journey with us. And I have, like, big, big goals for you. And I hope that everything works out. We stay healthy, keep handling business, stay locked in, all of that. And, yeah, I hope you guys were able to take something away from this video. 11 weeks out. Got to handle business. That's it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.